I'm very concerned that sometimes our students with significant disabilities don't have activities that we really expect high cognitive engagement. We have to have a high level of cognitive engagement in order for our students to be effective at learning. We can't just have them in coast mode where they're just occasionally hitting a switch to repeat an answer that we just fed into the switch and they're not really thinking about it. So I'll give you a few examples. If I'm dealing with comprehension and I'm trying to support a student in learning to comprehend a text, I need to make Make sure they're trying to comprehend that at the whole text level and I don't just read a page like Johnny wore a red shirt what color was Johnny's shirt where we re you know read something and then we ask you a question immediately um, and that's short-term memory that's not comprehension if I want you to comprehend a text I need you to comprehend it at the whole text level and I need to teach you strategies in order to do that I also worry about what we call perpetual preschool that we keep doing things for students long after it's age respectful that we have to think about having higher levels of cognitive engagement for example if you're working with a student who's over three I hope you're letting them scribble and when, if they're over five, I hope they're scribbling with the alphabet. And so many times we think, oh, well, she's not ready for the alphabet. Well, when is she going to be ready? We've got to engage that student in a higher level of cognitive engagement.